The photo you see in the right is my face. When I notice a camera that I don't know or I don't like, is recording my face. This makes me feel uncomfortable. Imagine a stranger walks in and starts recording photos and videos of you one by one. I'm sure some of you guys won't feel comfortable with this. Unfortunately, this is happening in our everyday life without be no being noticed. While there are a group of people who don't like to be recorded, there are other group of people who love the data recorded because they can run analysis on that. Using the tools that they have, they can analyze what's going on in these videos and images. One of the tools that they use is face detectors. Face detectors give you the location of faces in images and videos. In our research, we propose something, a, a method, a solution, that tries to make both groups happy. In other sense, we have a solution, a face detector, which pr preserves the privacy and also finds the location of the faces as shown in the image in top left. How we do this in practice has two parts. The first part is related to privacy preserving. The data that we have, the data files that we have, is stored as a series of zeros and one. And when you want to open your images in the devices, you just extract the uh, images using your viewer and you can see the actual pixels. If you slightly modify this compact representation of zeros and ones, you finally end up getting this scrambled face. And if someone wants to see your videos and images, they actually can't see anything. And this solves the problem of privacy. Now we have the scrambled faces. We want to find the location of the faces in those images. Inspired by the movie Matrix, when we had the digital rain in that movie, we, th we, th uh, we found out that if we rearrange the zeros and ones in a specific way, we notice that there are some specific patterns that represent faces. This can be learned with machines that use artificial intelligence in their frameworks. And that magical face detector is inspired uh, by the movie and also using artificial intelligence. So we have this scrambled face and also we have a mechanism which finds the location of them. We mix these two information together to find something that actually finds the faces without seeing the real pixels. And at the end, the solution is the scrambled face with the location of face added on top of that. Thank you so much for your attention.